Hi, so I wanted to explain about um, an upcoming assignment that will be due in week seven. Um, in fact, the rough draft of it will be due in week seven. Final draft will be due in week eight. So we're looking ahead um, about this assignment. So this is the instructions assignment. Uh, so this is an individual assignment. Um, so this will be something that uh, we'll have a couple of corresponding assignments ahead of it, one of which is the document analysis assignment that you're doing this week. Uh, so I thought that it would be useful to tell you about what this instructions assignment is since this week we read about in chapter 10 about a set of instructions um, and you're analyzing uh, instructions in your assignment this week. So this video um, corresponds to an assignment that's not due this week. We're thinking ahead. So still a couple weeks out uh, for this assignment, but I thought that I would tell you about it now. Uh, so let's see. So for this instructions, uh, this set of instructions, so um, what you're what you're able to do, and you can um, see more information about this. I have linked uh, an attached document uh, that will go through the exact uh, you know specifications for this assignment too, just uh, along with this video, just underneath this video. Um, but for the uh, first, for the format of this set of instructions that you'll write, um, you are free to choose any kind of format that you think would be most effective for your set of instructions. Um, so it could be print, could be digital, could be video. It's really up to you. And depending on what your subject is and who your intended audience is, how you plan for them to use it, it's up to you what format that set of instructions will take. Um, so choose whatever medium would be the most user-friendly for your project. Um, so common choices, of course, would be just a simple Word document that has text and also images um, to lead them through each step. Um, you could uh, make a web page if that's relevant, if that's the most useful way to communicate this process. Um, you could create a brochure to explain the process. You could create a video, um, many other choices. Uh, so the format, it's up to you. Also, for this instructions, the subject, that's also up to you. So with one specification. So since we're an online class, your topic should involve instructing your reader to do something online. So anything involved with doing something online. Um, for instance, you could teach us to use a new smartphone app, um, take advantage of maybe a, a hidden feature or a lesser known feature on a website, um, maybe like on Google, you could tell us how to um, have better search results, um, you know, something like that. Uh, how to, you could teach us how to be successful at an online game. So like World of Warcraft, Fortnite, you know, anything like that. Um, you could teach us to use one maybe very lesser known feature of Canvas. Um, you know, there are lots of possibilities, you know, teach us to do something online. So your subject should be something that you can assume that your reader will, will not know about. So you're telling us something new. And for this assignment, your reader are your peers. Because later on in this assignment, before you turn in the final draft, we'll do some testing of your set of instructions and we'll see if, if they make sense to us. So we'll do some peer review. So um, your peers in this class are your target audience. So choose whatever you choose. Choose something that you can teach us to do that we don't already know. So for instance, like uh, teaching us how to use Facebook Probably most people already kind of know how to do that. Um, but maybe if you could find something, maybe there's a feature on there that you can assume not everybody knows about um, or kind of a, a special thing that you can do on Facebook that, hey, that's pretty cool. Um, I didn't know I could do that. Like privacy settings. It seems like nobody knows how to use those. Uh, so there's lots of possibilities. Anyways, um, so um, just as, uh, you know, some reminders about that. Uh, you know, 
please limit your subject to something that's available for free online. So because we're going to be testing out your instructions, um, you know, don't ask your peers to have to buy something in order to complete your instructions. So something that's free online or has some kind of free access to it. Um, also, very important, make sure to limit, narrow down your subject um, to just maybe one single feature of a site or an app. Um, for instance, you know, how to use YouTube. That would be too broad, way too broad. There's too much to have to explain to somebody um, in one set of instructions. That, that wouldn't be useful. Um, it'd be better if you narrowed your topic to just one aspect. Uh, maybe how to upload a video in YouTube. Okay, that's a lot more manageable. Uh, so also make sure that you narrow your subject enough so that you can fully instruct your, your target audience in no less than five steps, but generally no more than 10 steps total. Now, within a step, you could have a sub-step, maybe you know, something related that you do this and that and the other thing within a step if that's relevant to organize you know, your process. Um, but try and narrow it down so that you can communicate it between five and 10 steps total. Uh, we're not looking for creating a whole booklet of instructions. Not, we're not looking for that. Um, also, just like uh, chapter 10 tells us, you know, make sure to include any potential warnings, dangers, hazards, risks, anything like that definitely include that as relevant. Um, also for visuals, you need to use visuals, uh, whether it's a photo, an illustration, video, drawing, chart, whatever. Um, so all visuals should be captioned so we can clearly understand what is this picture showing us. Um, and then also it should be referred to uh, in the text. So um, I just wanted to show some examples, uh, especially since this week we're, we're analyzing sets of instructions ourselves. So I was just looking around the house and seeing what kind of instructions I have. Um, so here's one. Um, this is for when I got my um, Amazon uh, Fire uh, tablet. And um, so this is interesting. This is a quick start guide. So it's very, very simplistic, basically just telling you how to turn it on, basically. Um, but it's very clear in how it shows what you need to understand about it by just using a very simple black and white drawing and icons. So no words, no words in the text. So it's very useful. Um, and just by looking at the picture, you can understand what they're trying to communicate. So once again, this is a quick start guide, so this might be a little bit too simplistic for the kind of instructions that we're going to create, but noticing their use of pictures and icons instead of text as relevant, because it was really useful here. Um, so I was able to actually use the, those set of instructions. Um, so here is a set of instructions for uh, the Roku. And so once again, very simple kind of color scheme. You can see it there. Um, simple kind of color scheme, just black and white with orange uh, to identify headings and to identify bullet points. Um, noting that on the very first page is a get to know your Roku information and it uh, identifies all the different parts on the machine so you can understand what all everything does. And then the second page is doing the same thing for the remote. So trying to identify just when it's out of the box, what does it look like? What, it, what does everything do? Um, and then here is one for a rice cooker. Um, and this goes into a little bit more detail um, about instructing the user in how to, to use this appliance. Uh, so it goes into, of course, it starts its first page with its warnings. So all of its safety warnings, hazards, that kind of information is listed um, prominently up front uh, to warn the reader. Uh, so other kind of warnings as well about how to, um, you know, how to use it, what not to do, keep it away from children, those kinds of things. So anyways, 
Um, so start thinking about your possible topic. You could message me if you have maybe an idea and you wanna run it by me and say, hey, would this work? Um, but at least just to get it into our minds, um, nothing is due for this project until week seven. Um, so just at least getting started to think about it now. All right, that's it, bye.